Now, I know just about everyone has been covering the Activision Bungie split, the subsequent massive drop in Activision stock, and this alleged investigation for fraud. And I think there's a lot of misinformation out there. Of course, there is some delicious, salty uh, tiers of Activision inv investors to look at, but I want to look at everything together and try to put things in perspective because I think this whole fraud investigation seems a little um, thin. It seems like a, a law firm might be trying to just capitalize on the situation for some PR. It started when Activision and Blizzard split, uh, announced their split on Thursday. And when we look at their stock, um, it had dropped more than 10% at one point after the announcement. And that also, uh, we see articles, let's start there. Activision Blizzard's stock continued to plummet Friday morning following news Thursday night that Bungie was ending their contract with the publisher and retaining rights to its Bungie franchise. By the way, people seem to gloss over the fact that they took a $100 million investment from Chinese mobile company NetEase. So what that means for Destiny uh, going mobile or uh, hitting the Chinese market, I guess we'll have to wait and see. But certainly NetEase invested with that in mind. The stock fell nearly 7% in post-market trading, which means after the market's closed Thursday night. It continued to drop Friday morning, down about 12% as of this writing. We're talking about hundreds of millions of dollars here, by the way. It's unclear why the two companies terminated their 10-year contract, but a joint statement released Thursday made it seem as the separation was amicable. All right, so we talked about um, the stock. A lot of people talking about here. Investors are spooked about Activision Blizzard losing a big franchise, it seems. Now, I've read some investors who continue to be optimistic on the Activision stock coming back, and they keep saying to buy back in, but so many times they've said buy back in this year, and it continues to nosedive on GameSpot. They made the big announcement on Thursday when the companies confirmed they were splitting up. No surprise that Activision Blizzard stock dropped dramatically after the news was made public. Investors were seemingly spooked at the idea of Activision Blizzard losing a revenue contributor. The company's share fell almost 7% in after hours trading. The New York Stock Exchange, the news was released after the stock market closed, obviously. Update with markets open, the drop has only continued. Thursday after Thursday closing at 51, it's gone as low as $44 so far this morning and ended up with a 10.56% drop. Expect that to fluctuate. In the Securities and Exchange Commission filing, Activision Blizzard said it doesn't expect losing Destiny to have significant impact on revenue or operating income in 2019. I find that hard to believe. They're running out of franchises to make any money. I mean, they ruined Guitar Hero. Call of Duty isn't in a great place. I'm not sure what they have left up their sleeve in terms of Blizzard. Unless they plan on pumping out all these mobile versions into the Chinese market and mining that Chinesium gold, which they entirely probably, in my opinion, that's probably their plan for 2019 is to get titles like Diablo Immortal out in the Chinese market and make money that way. Uh, Activision Blizzard also owns the company that runs Candy Crush, and they may have some long-term plans on that, especially hitting the Chinese market. Uh, but it doesn't expect losing Destiny to have significant impact on revenue or operating income in 2019. However, losing a franchise as big as Destiny will surely have an impact on Activision Blizzard's bottom line in some capacity. Then we saw information coming out about shareholder alert. Uh, Pomerantz Law Firm investigates claims on behalf of investors on Activision Blizzard. New York PR Newswire. Now, to put out a press release on the PR Newswire, I'm pretty sure that Pomerantz LLP is the one that put this out, right? They're trying to get some sort of class action lawsuit put together. The investigation concerns whether Activision and certain of its officers and or directors have engaged in securities fraud or other unlawful business practices. Now, this is not the first time we've seen this law firm pop up uh, around the gaming industry, maybe not this law firm, but you look at their website, it looks like a cheese ball uh, squeeze page um, of ambulance chasing lawyers. Now, of course, I don't know any of these people in particular, but you can see that they've had a $3 billion settlement for investors and they just look to capitalize on these 
uh, class action lawsuits. However, they have no lawsuit without shareholders wanting to file one. Now, one could argue that uh, having several chief financial officers leave in the same month and having lost um, these franchises, you might ask yourself, well, did they know? Losing Mark, Mike Morheim now completely. He was on as an, invest, uh, as an advisory role, but then he announced that, no, he's out. So you lose Morheim, you lose two CFOs, you have all sorts of stock issues. Is there something going on internally uh, that we don't know about? You see that on January 11th, the company disclosed that it would be separating from design and development partner Bungie. Uh, Bungie had developed the Destiny franchise, Activision as a publisher. In the first five days of Destiny's franchise release, it sold 325 million at retail. Following this announcement, Activision stock price fell sharply during intraday trading on January 11th. The law firm with offices in New York, Chicago, who cares, uh, in areas corporate securities and antitrust class litigation, founded by the late Abraham L. Pomerantz. Look, uh, regular law firms don't investigate companies for fraud. That's a security and exchange commission thing. That's something the actual government does. So the idea that you see these articles, Activision currently under investigation for fraud, that's BS. They're not under investigation. If they were, that would be something that the SEC would do. Uh, they would be looking to see like, well, did these CFOs have some knowledge? Is that why they dumped? Uh, this random law firm popping up saying that they're investigating them doesn't really mean anything. Uh, according to a recent report from MarketWatch, a new investigation has kicked off concerning suspected unlawful business practices and other types of fraud within their daily operations. The report was set up simply as an alert to shareholders and is an official disclosure on behalf of investors in Activision Blizzard. There's a lot of speculation regarding the reason behind these abrupt 10-year contract, but the two companies did offer their own statements this week. Uh, there's been nothing, by the way, released that makes it seem like either one of these two parties were not happy about it or that one of them, you know, they were having some sort of uh, break against their will. With Activision creating something special, Destiny was happy. Um, Activision shortly thereafter released their own statement, which means for the future of uh, Activision, no one knows, but mounting concerns of Activision's influence over Blizzard and co-finder Mike Morheim leaving the company for good in April. Something weird is happening and it needs to be addressed before it's too late. Thoughts on the Activision and current investigation? Again, I don't think, I don't view this as an investigation. I view this as a law firm uh, digging trying to capitalize and try to get some sort of class action lawsuit. Is there something there? Is there something internally? Why you see Morheim leave? Why you see both CFOs leave? Why you see the stocks tumbling? Why you see a large cash withdrawals and sale sell-offs that we've talked in other, in other videos? Maybe there's something there, but to say they're actually under investigation, I think that's hyperbolic. I, I wouldn't say that they're under investigation until somebody at the SEC uh, says something. And you can see it being reported. Many outlets all comes after made a rapid decline in Activision stock price over the last six months, which was already steady fluctuation since Destiny 2 failed to meet expectations, but it really begun to degrade starting with the underperformance of COD 4, then diving down even further after the company's announced Overwatcher 76 was gay. I don't think that was, I don't think they had a drop relating to that. Um, what really hurt Activision stock was the separation with Bungie that I would agree with. Um, this means that not only did Bungie cut a 10 year deal short, but they took the property with them. That means Activision doesn't get much out of the whole ordeal. We don't know that, um, combine this with falling viewership numbers in the Overwatch league and stranger focus on social justice instead of actual gameplay, anti-gamer sentiments with Diablo Immortal. You basically have a recipe for disaster. Now, all of these things are true, uh, in this article. Uh, but again, is it just bad things happening or are they actually related? Mm, it's hard to say. Um, if I'm the CFO and I see the writing on the wall and I can get a better deal working for uh, Square or I can go work for Netflix, you know, maybe that just happens. Uh, but I wouldn't say they're under investigation. I would say that I would expect their stock to continue to fall because I think long tail cash from Call of Duty franchises is gonna disappoint. I think that World of Warcraft, Overwatch, 
all their other titles are going to continue to disappoint and they don't really and they haven't really hinted at any major releases for 2019 outside of again maybe one of these mobile releases so the future is definitely dim for activision blizzard i believe um can they turn it around? Heck yeah, they've got tons of goodwill all still within millions of World of Warcraft players and Overwatch players, things like that. They've got to find a way to uh, innovate again as opposed to microtransactions and worrying about monetization. You must, you must change the game. You must give people a reason to come back to WoW or you must release something completely different. I think... The solution is probably getting people reinvested in World of Warcraft, uh, but uh, who knows if that's even possible anymore. Well, that's the data dump on Activision Blizzard from the weekend. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to reading your comments in the comment section down below, and we'll talk to you again real soon.